now it's uh, 10 a.m. in Finland. Let's uh, start. I will first introduce you and then we I will let you do the show. So let me switch to Thomas' screen. All right. Welcome everyone to the fourth episode of this Code Refinery Workshop, September 2024. I'm Enrico Gleria and I will be the host for you, with you today. And uh, today the topic is uh, reproducibility, specifically more kind of the computational reproducibility. So trying to, you know, replicate the results of other people or even try to replicate what you did a few months or a few years ago. The first part of today, which will last for a couple of hours, will be presented by Thomas. Thomas, do you want to say something about yourself? Um, I'm a research software engineer at Alto, uh, which is the scientific computing group. Same as Enrico, essentially. And then Thomas will be joined by Temo. Temo, do you want to say something about yourself? Um, hello, uh, I'm Temo. I'm also a research software engineer at Aalto, so we are basically all colleagues here now. Thanks. And then uh, later after the lunch break, which will go from 12 to 1 finish time, uh, there will be Hossein and I talking about uh, social coding and licensing. Hossein, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. I'm Hossein. I'm also one of the RSCs at Aalto. Happy to be here. So it's a full Alto team this time, all based in Finland. So apologies if I will use the Finnish time zone as a reference, but I guess you can convert it to your Central European or wherever you live. Just a reminder that uh, the materials for today are linked in the main page of the workshop. And if you keep the notes document open, we will also post the links to the materials that the um, that the instructors are showing. Um, this week compared to the first week is a, is a week where we will not do actual exercises, but of course there will be lots of questions for you and discussions. So in practice, the notes document is our main tool for interacting. We decided to do it like this for now a couple of times. The reason being that sometimes all the material that are, that are presenting in the second part of the week, in the second part of the workshop, are it, it can be overwhelming to try to do the exercises and also understand what's going on. So there are exercises written in the materials, and of course, you're welcome to try them later if you have time. But in general, try to follow our demos and our and our discussion and try to contribute with lots of questions because that's the best that we can get out of this experience. And so I think, yeah. I'd like Thomas. to add one thing here. Um, one of the reasons that we don't do the exercises is also because um, some of the tools that we are showing this week um, are very specialized tools and not actually useful for everything and going through the exercises. If you think, yeah, think it's useful for you, yeah, it's definitely a good idea but some of the tools can just be skipped. Yes. Just what said that. All right. I think this is all for the introduction. So I'm gonna leave the scene and the screen to Thomas and Temo, and uh, I'll be back later for the break. Okay. So yeah, this week and um, particularly today is about reproducible research. Uh, and it essentially starts with getting files in order. Um, you have already last week seen a lot about version control. Um, no, sorry. Um, it's about how to code, um, what to use for name as names for your functions and so on. And this will be the will maybe we mainly focus on uh, tomorrow and on Thursday. Um, as mentioned earlier, um, documentation and uh, is very important part of um, reproducible research because without documentation, it's very difficult to uh, redo what others have done and that will be covered uh, extensively tomorrow. 
um, the last week you've already had version control of code of text and how to do that, how to do collaborative um, and distributed version control and what are the challenges there. Um, you further have things like um, stabilizing your computing environment so that um, others can more easily reproduce what you have done because they know what you uh, what you what your environment actually looked like and part of this is covered today and um, other ways to do this um, are um, are shown in more detail tomorrow and on Thursday and it's about it's of course also about how you publish your research outputs um, how you publish your code your data your documents that you need and um, social coding and open software will also be discussed later today <laughs>